deep-rooted plumbing system beneath ocean submarine volcanoes, scientists uncover that they have a deep-rooted system. Cardiff University scientists revealed the true extent of the internal plumbing system, quote-unquote, that drives volcanic activity around the world. An examination of pockets of magma contained within crystals has revealed that large chambers of molten rock which feed volcanoes can extend to over 16 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. A new study published in Nature magazine has challenged our understanding of the structure of ocean volcanoes with previous estimates suggesting that magma chambers were located up to six kilometers below the surface. Now this also has of course reference to the recent Tonga submarine volcano between Fiji and New Zealand that is still uh, erupting. With uh, 39 kilometers worth of ash, it's, the ash has gone up to the stratosphere and the sonic boom from that eruption has been heard all the way up to Alaska and of course the west coast of the United States and it has uh, the shock has re ra been uh, recorded all over the world. Now interconnected magma chambers and reservoirs are the key driver of the dynamics of volcanic systems around the world. So understanding their nature is an important step towards understanding how volcanoes are supplied with magma and ultimately how they erupt. Mid-ocean ridges in particular make up the most significant volcanic system on our planet, forming a roughly 80,000 kilometer long network of undersea mountains, along which 75% of Earth's volcanism occurs. But because these volcanoes are located under thousands of meters of water, and sometimes permanent sea ice as well, we are only just starting to understand what the subsurface architecture of these volcanoes look like. It's known that magma plumbing systems exist below the Earth's surface, which can be thought of as a series of interconnected magma conduits and reservoirs, much like the pipes and tanks that make up a plumbing system in a house. Instead, at mid-ocean ridges, the tap is a volcano. In their study, the team analyzed common minerals such as olivine and plagioclase, which grew deep within the volcanoes and were subsequently erupted from the Gakkel Ridge, located beneath the Arctic Ocean between Greenland and Siberia. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Now we know that we've recently talked about Greenland and the, uh, the magma plume underneath the west part of Greenland. That's the magma plume that extends under Iceland. And that's also what may be causing the uh, ice sheets to melt over that part of Greenland because of the hot magma plume underneath. Now, the lead author of the study... Oh no, sorry. Uh, yeah, Greenland and Siberia, these minerals act as a tape recorder from which changes in the physical and chemical conditions of the environment within which they grew can be measured. Critically, the team were able to record what processes occurred and at what depth these minerals began to crystallize in magma reservoirs. The lead author of the study was PhD student Emma Bennett from the School of Earth and Ocean Sciences, and she said, to calculate the depth of magma reservoirs, we use melt inclusions which are small pockets of magma that become trapped within growing crystals that differ at different depths of the magmatic system. These pockets of melt contain dissolved CO2 and H2O, which is water. Now, because of the melt, the melt cannot dissolve that much carbon dioxide, CO2, at shallow pressure as it can at high pressure, we can determine what pressure the melt inclusion was trapped and in turn work out the depth at which crystallization occurred by measuring the amount of CO2 in the melt inclusion. Put simply, she said, crystal growth in the magmatic environment can be linked to the growth rings on a tree. For example, a change in the chemical environment will result in the growth of a new layer with a different crystal composition. By analyzing multiple melt inclusions, we can start to reconstruct the architecture of the magmatic system. The study was first to use the mineral 
plagioclase as a proxy for the depth of magma reservoirs with previous studies using the mineral olivine. The results showed that magma plumbing systems at mid-ocean ridges extend to much greater depth than previously thought. Oceanic crust is normally only about 6 kilometers thick, and conventionally magma chambers were thought of as being located here. Yet the new data has shown that the plumbing system exists and extends to at least 16 kilometers depth, which means that the magma chambers that fed the Gakkel Ridge volcanoes are located much deeper down in the mantle. This is by Cardiff University on fizz.org. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.